Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario RPG, the remake one. It's silent title screen. Last we left off, we got to the very cloudy area. Oh yeah, and I slept in here a lot. Well, let's not do that again. Do do. Let's go in the one area we haven't gone yet. Oh, the golden statues. Hi, I'm the sculptor, Garo. I used to make a lot of statues of King Nimbus, but now all I get are orders for sculptures of Valentina. Hey, look, it's me! Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad. Oh, er, huh? What the? Who are you? Hello, my name is Mallow. And this is my friend Mario. Mallow, so it is you, my boy. It's been so long. Ah, you've become a splendid young prince. What? I'm... I'm really a prince? Indeed, I understand. So, you were raised by the Frog Sage. There's no question about it. You are, without a doubt, Prince Mallow. Mario, look at me. I'm a prince. I knew Valentina was up to something. I just didn't know what. That must mean that the king isn't really gravely ill. Or he could be, and she's the one who's doing it. But if you... Then let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Are you ready? Sure. Hold still, okay? Very fast at it. There. Hey, don't move. They're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get moving now. I drag them both along with telekinetic power, I guess. But I'm delivering Valentina's latest order to her. You may enter. Halt, who goes there? Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all. Oh? That's because this is Statue of Valentina's nephew, Mar... Mariotta, okay? Uh, okay. Proceed. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, that was close. Didn't think we could get through that one. There's no such person named Mariotta, huh? Oh, 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 oh. oh, now this is lovely. My beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning, along with all the others. Thank you, your majesty. A charging battery. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear it when we're playing this game. All right. Thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt. What may I ask, is this ugly thing? That's my latest masterpiece. I, I created it just for you. It's called... In Search of Lost Brother. Observe the thick mustache. With it, I depict his kind feelings for his younger brother. The sideburns, conveying his strength of heart. And the legs, well-defined, strong. Legs that can leap any distance in a single bound. 
Is it to your liking? Hmm. I consider myself something of an art buff, and I've got to say, this is spectacular. Garo, only you could have created sculptures of such gentle beauty and raw power. Thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Spectacular. Dodo. Dodo. Don't just sit there like a roast. Hurry up and carry this in. Dodo. Step on it. So he hits the statue in anger. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, I can leave now. It's the Golden Mario. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Nimbus Castle. Dodo. Did you display the statues properly? Fine, now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Pay attention to me, hurry up, and don't let me catch you dozing again. Uh-oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Give up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting pecked. Get ready, because he's coming this way. No, I, I jumped when he wasn't ready yet. But you start statue move, don't be ridiculous. You're just stalling so you won't have to polish them. And then it starts again. I could reload and try to do a first run because you get a cool item, but it's not a cool enough item to care. <laughs> the last one is hard. If you fail this enough times, it just ends as well. So. I jumped too early again. Stop bothering me. If you're so worried, why don't you go give it a good peck? Oh no, a bat. Definitely not getting the item. Maybe there's a warfare. God, he had a new punch attack. Mario's getting hammered. Silence, she can't do magic attacks. That's fine, that just means we have to defeat him fast. I 
failed everything. Wait, gotta always get used to the new weapons for these. Twenty four experience out of it, though. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you would get like a feather. I think it increases your speed considerably or whatever. So I just saved over it, so it's over now. But it should just saved in a different spot. Unless, when was the auto save? Be right back. Since so I just went into another room, that also probably changed the auto save. The auto save is about the same time as this. So it won't help us. But it's okay, I don't need the feather. Oh no, gotta fight the green shy guys. Sh Sling shy and Orbison. Then heal when you're not hurt. Lucky. Two damage. Twelve damage. Thirty-nine damage. Sure. For the fun of it. Okay. Whoa, how much money do you have? 55. I'm being blown backwards. Guess you're not allowed to go this way. Because of the pinwheels. Wow. Ow. One more time. Syrup obtained. It's okay, I can make it if I just have more patience than it. So I kind of wanted to fight it. So it's not there anymore. Naturally, it starts dodging all of the attacks. Flower, now run. Did I ever fight one of these red ones or the, the same that were out front? I can't. Remember. Yeah, just birdies. If we can get to Mao's turn, he can try one of his attack everyone attacks. Probably Snowy, it seems to be the best one. Obliterated. Wrong button. Dude, 
Gotta fight one of these guys. Alright, chuff. Good old Ch Chuffles awakening. You healed him to awaken him. Sir, obtain. Get more flower pepper. Oh, this is back where I started. Oh no, it came. The statue was actually an enemy. Oh no. Okay, that's a special shy guy. Let's try to kill the healers so they don't just heal the Jaffel. Oh no. They did the thing. Hallow just no damage to this. I could do a healing rainbow to heal everybody. I don't think I will, though. Yet. To take out the healer. Scarecrow Bell. And then she was Scarecrow. In which case... I guess because she was a Scarecrow, she couldn't participate, so we're just gonna summon Toad. Whatever that thing is. Stargust. Is an attack? Ooh, that's actually really good. Cure yourself. He should be immune to it because of the item. Special shy guy, sly sling guy. Ain't so tough. I'm gonna take out the fan though so it doesn't blow people around. It's a special pinwheel. That one doesn't blow, so I don't need to worry about it. And then we're back here. Oh well. Now we gotta do all their attacks, and then Mallow can do his thing. Ah. We'll sprint out of there. Ah, uh -huh. is this where I want to go first or the other way? One of these I want to go first. Let's try this one. More statues come into life. There's a hidden treasure here, probably on top of that one. It's usually how these things work. So do we fight a blue kind before? Blue bird. Stunt. Oh, 
Awesome stunt. Jumping, yeah, it's probably up on top of there. Wow, the shaman. Never get to see their moves if I take them out quickly. One in this room. I'll use Mallow's super move in a second. Yes. Eliminate. Sleepy bomb. I didn't think that would go straight to the other room, but anyway. Did you know that there are hut springs around here? Yep. Oh, you're no fun. I wanted to be the first to tell you. Oh, I'll say no then. Nope. You get special hot water from Barrel Volcano. It helps cure all kinds of ailments. But only royalty gets to bathe in it. Hey, did, did you know Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle room? Spits out eggs from time to time. Sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off of you. A dip in the hut springs would perk up the king in a jiffy. Go on, take this. Got a flower charm. Valentina told me to wait in this room. So I'm hoping she'll give me a job soon. I used to be a guard here until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? Sure. Alright, here you go. Just don't tell, tell me what you're going to do with it, okay? Castle key one. I need a key to open the back door of the middle room, but of course Valentina took it. Wait, I got a flower chart. 81 flower thing my cheeks. I need to fight everything in here so I can search in peace. Perfect. So much easier in this game than the old days. found one more of these should Level ups from Mario and Mello. Mario reaches level 17. I guess this one. Then it'll be the same for Mallow. Because that's how levels work. Plus we're making good use of his magic anyway. There's another one somewhere. What is this? 
<laughs> Amazing. Do do do. No, you will come up with your s s side attack there. No, it didn't work. Okay. I think I discovered that earlier, actually. Shuffles are pretty tanky. Bows level up. He has some nice special attacks too. Ah, oh, oh, oh. now we just gotta take these guys out. Ready to launch. Defense up, I think we can handle it. Eh? More defense up. Gino gets to level. Gino learned a new move, Gino Flash. Build power at the beam hits all foes. I had to press A to enter the door. I didn't... It's fine, now Peach can get the level up. <laughs> And got some maple syrup. Level 17. There we go. La dee da. Here you go, Big Iggy. I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you'll grow up to be big and strong. Oh, oh, oh. Mario's already here. He's a fast one, he is. Oh, 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 it won't open. It's locked. Uh, the egg is laughing. It's locked. She can't jump that high, so... I'm so lonely. Will you play with me? Sure. Thanks. Shelly. It's beginning to crack. Hello, I'm Birdo. It is indeed Birdo. Just punch her a lot. To he, ouch! You're hurting me. Now it's my turn. Get it while it's hot. Peach can give herself therapy. Ah. I was going for it. No, I healed the wrong person. We're doomed now. Actually, I should have healed with Mallow. It's okay, just give her a mushroom. She'll be fine. See, completely fine. Second, that egg is bouncing over there. Egg Bert. 
just probably should miss that. One. Yeah. We've created a monster. Blow it up. Nice. Missed entire. Oh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. And then she turned back into an egg, I guess. Oh. How mysterious. Got castle key, too. Don't forget about me. Should have fought that thing. Now I have to run back around. I'm just gonna hang out up there. Fight this army, this small army. No, it's a special enemy. Oh, no, everybody's failing miserably. Except Peach and her blocking abilities. real quick so that it doesn't get to attack right after Mario because that's when it gets to do its attack. Any Serap got sent away. really on top of this. Yes. That's where they love to put those things. King Nimbus is resting in bed. Absolutely no running in the halls. Queen Valentina. Mario. This can only mean that my mom and dad are here. Hey, wait a sec. It won't open. It's locked. Leave it to me. Looks like it's up to me to get us out of yet another jam. Feast your eyes on this show of brains and brawn. Stand back. But wait, wait a minute. My dad's really bedridden. We shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. I guess we should find Valentina and force the truth out of her. Oh, 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 oh. What about the door? Listen, you never, ever talk to the leader of Bastard's Minions like that. Ooh, I hate that. I'll ignore it this time, but don't let it happen again. Queen Valentina. Queen Valentina. No, oh, oh, oh. This is locked, too. Actually, I just remembered something we can do. The monster list. I have to look through this in a while. Let's see, when did we last read anything in here? Okay, 
Here's the newer stuff. Apprentice. As apprentices, they undergo intense daily training, such as chasing beetles in hopes of becoming sniffsters. They seem to have no interest in becoming sniffsters and are content to remain sniffits forever. They look like magic salves, but they have cutting-edge features, such as the ability to stretch or shrink themselves at will. They carry cards with them, so they're always ready to play. But their habit of throwing cards around means they never get to play with a full deck. Those who distinguish themselves are promoted to sniffsters. Scuttlebutt is that... Scuttlebutt is that whoever defeats the intruder in the tower will get the nod. Interesting. Dollocks. They look like marionettes, but who, then, are the puppeteers, and where are they hiding themselves? I'm so curious that accuse me up at night. Rob Ong. They seem to be more powerful than the standard ones, but their appearance and behavior hasn't changed much. Blaster. These may look like ordinary cannons, but the bullets they shoot have eyes, hands, and mouths that grin almost as if they were alive. Lava Bubble. Their blue bodies bobble and bounce, blowing blistering bursts of fire saber, leaving the brave boiling and bereft. It's a lot of B words. Chain Chomp. No one knows just why there are Chain Chomps in the tower. It's possible that somewhere in there is a Chain Chomp awaiting a worthy master. Yes, we found that one. Booster, when caught, fought after failing the minigame. Due to the mounting expenses for tower and train maintenance, he doesn't have the coins to repair his busted door. It's been marked as will not fix. So yeah, if you fail the hiding behind curtains thing, I think you have to fight him. But we did well, so. His best skill is knife guy. His best skill is knife throwing, but he can climb on his brother's shoulders while his brother stands on a ball, so there's also no slouch at balancing. Great guy. He picked up ball balancing as a hobby, but now he can't help but balance on other things, too. His only flaw is a tendency to sweat under stress. A oh, while... Oh, oh, it's in the back. There's no information on Tort. The top layer of a cake baked by Torts. Despite its name, it is not a bun cake. Fess. The raspberry. The bottom layer of Tort's cake. If it had, had to be born a cake, it wished... It wishes that Spaker had gone with the more traditional strawberries rather than raspberries. Fascinating. And then we got the, the gopher things. Whenever the throfer, throfers living on Star Hill look at the shooting stars that fall around them, they wish that the world was theirs. Oh my. Gecko. Their eyes aren't spiraling because they're dizzy. It's because they're so paralyzed trying to decide between all the attacks at their disposal. Master Doom. A new third theory has arisen in the debate whether Master Dooms are mammoths or elephants, but the evidence for it is pretty bare bones. Oh, 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 oh. Like crooks, sackets thrown away on quick legs. If a crook and a sacket met, which do you think would flee first? Probably the weaker one. Pulsar. We've already covered the Pulsar's idiosyncrasies in their thought peak. Feel free to look it up the next time you meet one. I see. Zeo Star. I am not a five. I'm not a seven either. Zeo Star the sixth. Maybe it's the blooper. Maybe they use Ink Blast, which deals 150% normal damage because their normal attacks aren't enough. You could say they're a sucker for a strong attack. Mr. Kipper. We tried to do an interview about the origin of Mr. Kipper's name, but he just skipped around without answering us. Crusty. The bubble it uses is a trusty way of defending itself and it hasn't fought in a while and it's getting rusty. It's the sweat secreted when it's flustered. Sweat attack. Luco. The tips of their legs are bent because they're always crouching. Rarely one will stand up straight. Everyone excitedly says, Luco that. Oh, 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 oh. They love souls and use their sickles to swiftly harvest the souls of their enemies. But what do they do with the souls once they have them? Straw head. The book Psychoanalysis theorizes that their use of moves that transform others into mushrooms and scarecrows reveals their own desire to transform. Fascinating. Reacher. The way they throw dreadfully big bones with their dreadfully long arms is so dreadful that one might think of them as otherworldly. Dry bones. 
The bones they throw can't be their own, surely. They look like they would collapse if they threw their own bones. They must be special bones for throwing. Alirat. They are rather strong for their small size. Their bite attack is deadlier than you'd think. They are good at manual labor and always wear gloves. The Enigmax. They are bats despite being pigs. Pigs despite being bats. A group despite being singular. And singular despite being a group. Tentacle left. Though they all look identical, some are considered left or right tentacles based on the direction they grow. These are firm springiness when chewed. The right tentacles. These are softer and easier to chew on. King Calamari. He loves squeezing his limber body into inc incredible tight spaces. You could say he's gotten into getting into things. The whoa. -oh. Worried about what might be in the box? You should be. It's a whoa. -oh. They're always watching you. A mini Goomba. They're very small. So is the text. Bandana red. Where are your red bandana proud? Sing her song and sing it loud. We're carefree pirates. Yo ho, yo ho ho. Where are your blue bandana proud? Stand fast against every wave and cloud. Yo ho, yo ho ho. Johnny. Johnny bested the man eating shark that terrorized the seas, thereby ruling the ocean. I have become king of the pirates, he thought. Spiritovich. He fervently desires promotion and is desperate for his boss, Smithy, to like him. He's good at butting in to take cheap jabs at his colleagues. The duplicate. His fervent desire for promotion and desperation for Smithy's approval is unchanged, even as a duplicate. The formless. There isn't much to explain about a creature that has no form. Formless no more. The wrong button. Formless no more, but still without substance. Interesting. Its magic attacks are strong, so watch out. Chow. When becoming a Chow, a bluish-tinged gray canine's fur changes from bluish-tinged gray, making it stronger than a bluish-tinged gray canine. They wait for foes in the sinkholes of the Land's End Desert. You can get a frog coin by stomping on them in the field three times. Fast. They pick the name Octovader to seem cool. They're rivals with Octolots and always battle when they meet. Their favorite fruit is bananas. The Gekkit. Apparently they're called Gekkits because they're geckos who are a little more with it. But no fashion statement stays in style forever. Unless they keep hurting themselves. Bezo. Apparently they have their own theme song called Beat It Bezo, which they seldom sing in front of others. If you manage to hear it, count yourself lucky. For most flora, a flower of different color is still the same species. But for this monster, when its color changes, its name changes along with it. It's a chewy. Spinthra. Judging by their looks, you'd think they deliver powerful venom. Instead, they turn their foes into scarecrows, which is so much worse. <laughs> stinger. Those, These seem to be called stingers because of their pointy barbs, but buzzers also have stingers, and stingers make buzzing sounds, so... The Fink Flower. This, the wishy-washy behavior they exhibit by attacking with leaf whips before blowing a sweet kiss is less carrot stick than carrot and stick. The Criffage. You may think you've seen these scurrying steps elsewhere, but if you listen to the footsteps closely, it's more like a riff on a familiar theme. Beelome Temple. Who knows where he went off to or what he was doing, but that rascally Beelome, or rather... Whatever that means, that's pronounced Bilom, Bilom, has shown his face again. Mario clone. Nothing on that. Peach clone. Very well made for a clone. We didn't actually get to defeat the Mario clone because the battle ended. <laughs> Very well made for a clone. If brought to the Mushroom Kingdom, the Chancellor would no doubt believe that Princess Peach was still in the castle. Jagger. Despite all his training, he's not much stronger. But that's no surprise, since his strategy is still based around hoping for a lucky hit. I mean, he's way stronger than the ones at the beginning of the game, so I say he is strong. Jinx, testing capabilities. He's nowhere near experience enough to beat me. I should be okay as long as I use Valor up and occasionally attack twice. Jinx, you asked for it. This is a bad time for me to start sympathizing with my opponents. I've got Quicksilver and Silver Bullet, and they won't be expecting those. And Jinx, Sensei in action. 
They let their guard down. They're done for. They'll learn that soon enough. With bombs away, I have to figure up. I'm not holding back. I can't lose. You've committed your every move to memory. Please, no. Freaking out about what might be in the box. You should be. It's a please, no. They never, ever stop watching you. What's in the box? The genie. It was caught cheating at treasure chest slots. Confined inside, please, no, as punishment. Where it is being forced to clean. Chomp, chomp. They might seem riled up, but they're just playful at heart. They get a bad rap because of their absurdly painful bite. Smile axe. It is it's strange to call these smile axes when the only time they show their pearly teeth is to bite. Mega smile axe. If it can use petal blast, even though it isn't the right season for it to bloom. That's what you get from a freaking nature like this. Pretty, pretty though. The birdie. Grinders, their move, and they swipe with their spears instead of using their claws. Claws. As they say, the early birdie grinds the worm. Big troop. Their downtime from serving in Bowser's minions, they're in high demand as shell wax models. Double page spreads only, of course. Slingshy. When they ring their bells and let fly with a doom reverb, it feels to you like the gloves are off. But to them, they're just treating you to a song. Orbison. They want to heal it they want to heal injured orb users, but they're going through trial separation right now. Would the orb users and Orbisons ever reunite? Pinwheel. They spin to blow air and hinder people walking. But I've heard a rumor on the wind that there's one in a town somewhere blowing pleasant breezes. Yes, in Monster Town. Muckle. They may have the same appearance and behavior as Lucos. Distinguished only by their color, but they're definitely not filler. That's just how monsters are. Jawful. These big eaters are known as the gourmands of the imp world. They love meat dishes, especially hamburgers and hashed beef rice. Strong enemies who employ powerful magic. Some of them retire and enjoy a second career as shopkeepers. Like the one that was at the sunken ship and everything. Blue bird. If you underestimate one thinking it's no different from a birdie, it's powerful ice magic will leave you pale with fear. Shelly. To understand what they're all about, you need to peek at the thoughts of the person inside, not the suspicious show. The way that she shuts herself away inside Shelly may mean that she was patiently pining for the one who'd come break open her shell. Eggbert. They may bounce like they have not a care in the world, but if they're hit with an attack, they explode immediately. Talk about being egg-citable. Dodo. He imprinted on Valentina when he hatched and thought she was smothered. He was shocked to discover he was secretly Prince of Nimbuslet. Oh my goodness, he doesn't even know. This poor guy. <laughs> and then back to the beginning. Now I can go back to the other side. We'll continue this. The Big Troopas. And you can just do this to see if it's super effective, because ice is super effective against flying after all. Or not, but it still did good damage. Nothing in here. Let's continue on. Queen Valentina. That Mario creature beat up Smilax is here. Mario? What does a Mario look like? Well, it has a bushy mustache, long sideburns, and uh, a pair of mean-looking legs. Hmm, I have the feeling I've seen this Mario before. Wait, yes, it was the statue that Gara just delivered. Wait, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Valentina? Well, we certainly aren't going to listen to your pointless chatter. Frankly speaking, I'm not going to worry. Without this key, the king can't go anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Hush. I said shut up, alright. What the? Screen tearing. 
That that isn't a statue, that's Mario. Valentina, hand over the key now. Back. How utterly rude, and who in blazes are you anyway? Me, I'm the real prince, that's who. Brat, how dare you listen in on a private conversation? Private, private, everyone in a ten mile radius could hear you. Corrupt, if you're going to be this rude, I'm simply going to leave. So long, chumps. Eh, hey, Valentina ran away. I shall fly the coop too. Ah, uh, I think we kind of missed the boat here. So we'd better get moving too. Come on, let's get him. Now might be a weird point to stop, but I can stop right here. <laughs> Oh, 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 So, everyone, if you have enjoyed this episode full of oh, 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 then liking the video is appreciated, as is subscribing, leaving a comment, sharing with anybody else that likes this kind of thing. But the most important thing that you absolutely have to do is have a nice day. Bye.